Let's clean a Game Boy Color power switch. This will allow you to start doing other mods on your console, as the more mods you add, the more power hungry your console gets, meaning that your power switch will need to be cleaned. To begin, let's go over the supplies. You will need a soldering iron, solder, solder wick, flux, some tweezers, a brush, and a craft knife. To begin, we need to remove all the solder from both pads holding the switch in place. Simply put some flux on your solder braid and use a big tip on your iron to remove all of the solder. Also, as a note, this is a parts board that we're demonstrating on, however, the process will be exactly the same on your normal GBC. Now that we have all the visible solder removed from both pads, we need to go ahead and wedge a craft knife underneath the leg that's holding the metal down. There's still a little bit of solder holding that metal down, so we'll want to use our soldering iron on the edge of the pad to heat up the metal while sliding our craft knife under the edge of the metal casing. Once you've got the craft knife under there, remove all the heat and let everything cool down before removing your knife. You should be able to see a visible gap between the metal casing and the motherboard. From this point, we want to use our craft knife to slowly and carefully pry up the metal casing from around the brown plastic. You want to use some light, gentle prying but you don't want to go too far underneath the switch, because if you do, you'll start prying up on the brown plastic as well, and this can damage the traces on the motherboard. As you notice, I put my finger over the other end of the switch, and this will help make it so that one side will pry up. Once you've got one side up, and you can visibly see that it's up and off of the switch, we'll want to go ahead and repeat this process on the other side without the craft knife. Simply grab the metal housing with a set of tweezers and heat up the pad to reheat any remaining solder, allowing the switch cover to lift away. From here, we can remove the actual switch from its housing and also remove any remaining solder on the two outside pads. Now that we've got the motherboard prepared, we can go ahead and begin to clean the switch. We recommend taking a Q-tip and cutting it and using the stick from the Q-tip to clean the power switch. Simply dip it in alcohol and then run it across the switch for a little while to clean it up. You should eventually see all the dirt and grime come off of the switch and it should look like a nice shiny metal. Now that we have the tracks that the switch rides on fully cleaned, we can go ahead and move on to the switch itself. Now this switch is very delicate and you'll have to be very careful not to damage it in the cleaning process. The two metal fins in the middle of the switch are very delicate and easy to knock off. So we'll want to use a soft delicate brush and a set of tweezers to clean it. Use your tweezers to hold down the middle of the metal pieces and keep them from moving while you use a soft bristled brush dipped in alcohol to simply brush away the dirt and grime. Now that we've got everything cleaned, we're ready to reassemble. Go ahead and place your switch back on its tracks, and grab your metal cover and go ahead and place it over the tracks and the switch. 
Now, when we go ahead and re-solder on the metal cover, we want to keep it looking as OEM as possible. Now, you'll notice that the OEM solder only wraps around the metal of the casing. It doesn't actually go over it, so we'll want to recreate that. To do that, we'll simply heat up the pad but not touch the metal casing and flow solder all around the casing. We'll want to repeat this on both sides. As a side note, this does make it easier should you want to clean the power switch again in the future, because there'll be less solder for you to remove than there would be if it was covering the entire leg. This is optional, you can simply flow solder over them, but if you want to keep the factory look, then you'll want to recreate this effect. You now have a fully serviced power switch that's ready to live on and power your console for another 10 to 20 years. That's all there really is to it. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. Check out our wiki linked down below. We also have our Discord linked down below. Feel free to join there if you have any questions. And as always, thank you for watching.